Hey guys, Neo here, and uh, today I'm going to cover a tutorial that was requested. Um, basically, we're going to show you how to set up Open Broadcaster to do nothing more than local recording for, say, YouTube or Daily Motion or for whatever, really. Um, so, first thing, obviously, uh, if you don't have Open Broadcaster, uh, you can go to uh, you know go watch my first tutorial. Uh, OBS basic setup and it'll guide you through you know pretty much everything you really need to know I mean a lot of the a lot of the things for local recordings actually even covered in that um, but just to focus it down and be a little bit you know go through it a little bit more uh, step by step I thought we'd go ahead and do this today with a freshly uh, freshly installed copy of OBS now if uh, later when I try to record some video using that one or this one right here it doesn't quite work. Please keep in mind that is because if you look down here, I have two copies of it open. This one, which is encoding this video, and then this one over here for the setup. So it may not quite work as intended. Recording the software to record the software gets a little tricky and finicky sometimes. But this is the way to do it. So first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go up here to settings. You can either do it from this menu up here, or you can click the settings button down here. Uh, under general, we're not really going to do much here. Uh, we're going to go to encoding. We're going to, if you have an NVIDIA card, uh, 600 series or higher, you're going to want to use the NVIDIA NVENC. Uh, trust me, it's a very good thing. A great performance reduces... Uh, well, I, I really don't notice any frame loss in my games or anything using it like this. Um, then you're going to want to uncheck use CBR. And uh, we're going to use a custom buffer size, but we'll get to that in a second. One thing you're going to want to do is set your quality balance. I'm going to leave it at 8. 8 by default's not too bad. You're going to want to set your max bit rate. And that's going to require a little bit of thinking, a little bit of tinkering, and a little bit of research. Uh, basically, you need to decide what resolution you want to record at. Um, you know, whether it's 1080p, 720p, whatever. And then you need to set your max bit rate according to that. You, if you're using YouTube, YouTube does have a handy dandy little chart for this, um, which I will have the link to this down in the description field below. Uh, if we look at the screen here, 720p is 30kbps, which is what I had it set to, if you noticed. Uh, but we're go I'm going to go ahead and bump this up to uh, 1080p. We're going to go, you know, 50kbps or 50,000 rather. So we're going to enter that in 51, two, three. And then over here, like I said, check use custom buffer size, and we're going to set that to zero. That way it's, you know, actually it's not trying to buffer anything. It's just going to record it straight to disk and be happy. Uh, we're going to set the audio bit rate. Uh, YouTube says, you know, to use, what did it say? Let's take that little look again here. It says if you're recording from in mono, use 128 kbps. Uh, say, everybody say hi to my cat, Alice. She's here helping me making sure I get this right. Um, or if you're using stereo to do 384 or 5.1, blah, 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 blah. Well, honestly, my recommendation for that is take a look at your audio panel here. And you're going to go want to open up your playback devices and look at your speakers. The what they are set to. These are mine are set to 4800 kbps, which is fine. Um, I actually sh I'm going to bump that up. I prefer setting it to 192. Uh, the thing that I, reason I say this is it's easier if you set your bitrate to whatever your system's default audio bitrate is. That way it doesn't overtask the system and everything matches up a lot better. Okay, moving right along. Uh, broadcast settings. Oh, yep, I forgot to hit the apply button. So would you like to save and apply? Yes, I would. Thank you. Uh, over here, we're going to make sure on mode, we just have file output only selected. Uh, and then 
this is up to you where you want to put it this is just where it's going to put the videos you can ignore this bottom one here that says replay buffer file path that's completely something else uh, but that being said one thing you're going to want to do especially if you want to if you're going to want to uh, review your video using Windows Media Player or something of the sort uh, this is normally FLV file extension you're going to change want to change that FLV to MP4 it's fine it doesn't mess anything up uh, all that file extension is is a container the way the video is encoded is the exact same way either you know no matter what so change that to mp4 hit apply boom you're done there okay now under video we're going to I'm going to do that and I'll explain that in a second but make sure your resolution is set to whatever your monitor's resolution is you can actually just click monitor or if you want to set a custom base resolution for your video you can do that here uh, say like mine right now is at 1920 by 1080 either way now if you don't want to change the resolution of your monitor but you want to downsize the video you can do a resolution downscale of uh, you know from 1080 to 720p but selecting this right here where it says 1.5 you can downscale it to 720 just simply by doing that here FPS if you're recording you know decide whether you're recording in 30 FPS or 60 um, those are your two main you know standards and if your computer can handle recording in 60 yeah why not uh, you set that right here and this is the frame rate that it will it will uh, create the video file at under audio yeah whatever uh, <laughs> mean forgetting to hit apply sorry it's currently 3 22 in the morning my time if you look down here a little bit why am I still awake because I love you guys and I need to get this recorded that's why good answer right hmm. okay so down here uh, you're gonna make sure you have your desktop speaker selected or whichever speakers the game sounds are going to be coming from or whatever you want to record and then microphone you're going to select the microphone you want to use. As you can see, I have a couple of different options here, but I'm going to use my Blue Snowball. And that's really all you have to do here. Uh, there's some other settings, but they don't you don't really need to mess with any of these for this purpose, unless you want to use Push to Talk and, and uh, you know, other things. But all the uh, we'll get to that later also. Uh, hotkeys. Yes, yes, I keep forgetting to hit apply. Ah, okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hotkeys. Main ones you're going to want to set here is uh, start recording and stop recording. Uh, for this tutorial, I am personally not going to set these on purpose, but basically, whatever you set these to, when you hit that button while you're in your game, it'll start recording your game. And when you hit the other key that you define here, it'll stop recording. Simple as that. And those are the two main ones you're going to want. Again, if you want to use like push to talk or something like that, you're going to want to check this little button up here and then, you know, set your push to talk button, etc. right there. And then you'll hit apply. Ah, I don't have to and I remembered. Go figure. Okay. <laughs> Under advanced, uh, here is where you're going to want to set, do a little bit of tinkering. I mean, it's nothing huge. Uh, you can set your NVENC mode. Right now I have it set to automatic. Um, I usually set it to... Uh, high quality uh, since we are going to be using this along while recording with another OBS <laughs> I'm going to set it to high performance um, and really that's about all you have to do here we're going to actually set that to main you can set it to high or main depending on what your system can handle you can experiment with that on your own um, I'm just going to set it to main basically for the uh, again since I'm recording OBS with OBS and that's all you have to do here now if you have say a um, Intel card that supports the quick sync uh, under encoding I should have mentioned this while we were there that's where you would select that you would select quick sync and then some of these options like uh, you know that under advanced this will be different I don't know what this will look like because I do not have a system with an Nvidia or Intel card that supports their new quick sync technology to test it on so I have no freaking clue I apologize for being ignorant there uh, beyond that you know it does have the quick sync encoder options here for the uh, Intel cards 
right there. And yeah, that's really about it in settings. Actually, that is it in settings. We can just hit OK and get out of there. So what, we're, what are we going to do next? OK, well, that's pretty simple. We're going to go over here to our sources window and we're going to add a new source. You can add whatever you want, depending on what you want to capture, you know, whether it's a window or you want to capture your desktop uh, like I'm currently doing, which is I'm using the monitor capture right here. Uh, you can add, you know, images, text, everything. Uh, if you've watched my other, the rest of my tutor tutorial series, it covers most of these right here. So for this, we're going to do a window capture because I tried this a few minutes ago and it didn't quite work the way I wanted to with the game capture. I have Terraria up, but since I'm recording OBS with the OBS, it was uh, a little bit finicky, as I said. So we're going to do that. We're going to choose uh, not that window. There we go. Let's open up Terraria here. Pull that down a bit, laddie. Okay. We're going to hit refresh. If what you're looking for is not showing up, usually you can hit refresh. There we go. And we're going to, I'm going to select enter window and I'm going to leave, leave everything else alone. Now, guys, sorry about the jump cut here, but um, OBS is having one of those finicky moments I was telling you about. When I try to enable preview on our test client here, my video just freeze frames. Uh, so you're going to have to bear with me a little bit here. Uh, what you're going to want to do, and you're going to have to use your mind's eye and visualize this. Um, what you're going to want to do here is, first thing you're going to want to do is click, you know, right click in this area here, hit enable view. And uh, you're going to want to pre hit preview here, and it will show you whatever your, the way your video is going to look when you start recording. If your game, like in this case, Terraria, is not taking up the entire view area here. All you need to do is hit edit scene and it will put some red uh, handles and a frame around the uh, the selection, whatever you have selected in sources. So you'll, you know, in this case, you would make sure the window capture is selected and would put the little red drag handles around the Terraria window and just drag it to fit the size of your screen. After that, you would uh, hit you know, pre or st hit stop preview, which is that button right here it would change to, you know, it will change to preview or yeah, stop preview. So tired. I need to go to bed after this. I'll record more tomorrow, but let's finish this first. Um, and then go back to here and uncheck enable view because the reason for that is you don't want this rendering. Uh, the video while you're recording because it puts too much of a strain on a computer even if you have a computer that is uber badass and uh, can handle it I would still turn it off because you know that's just wasted resources to be a perfectly honest you're you could still get probably squeeze a little bit more game performance out or whatever so you would make sure you turn it off after that all you need to do is go into your game hit your whatever your hotkeys are for recording and uh, yeah, that's you know really it. As a matter of fact, I used this to record, and while I was recording with OBS, this one <laughs> worked flawlessly. The one I'm using to record this tutorial is the one that froze up. But here is the video from me recording. Uh, da -da -da -da. I go into Terraria. Tra -la 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 -la. I move around a little bit. I am now recording Terraria. Hello, YouTube, and welcome back to another exciting adventure with me, Neocrypta in Terraria. <laughs> and that's today's episode. So we will see you later. Until next time, see you in game. Uh. Yep, and as you can see, it worked just fine. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, sorry I couldn't show you visually how to drag the window around and resize it, because I did have to do that. But uh, OBS just was being too finicky. Uh, I hope that I answered all your questions that you might have had, and if I didn't, let me know in the comments down below. Ask me any questions you'd like. I'm always here to answer them, and I like helping. So, 
you know, it might take me a day or two to get to it because sometimes I don't see the notifications I have new comments. I don't know if I'm just blind or if YouTube likes trolling me so that it takes me a while to reply from time to time. Um, other than that, if you, you know, found this video useful and you liked it, please toss me a like. It helps me out greatly. And uh, if you didn't, well, let me know. If you know anybody else that this might be useful to, yeah, point them at the series. All right, guys. Again, I hope you found this useful. I hope this was entertaining. And until next time, happy recording. And I'll see you later. Thanks for checking out my video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share it with your friends and family. And until next time, have some fun, and I'll see you later.